Hi guys, it's me, Boog. And now will be the part where Jed said that he was here, but he's not. It said Papa is here. Hello, ladies and germs. We're here once again for the Boog and Dad TV Wrestling Extravaganza. Actually, YouTube. So anyway, we're going straight to the action. Right back to you, Boog, in the ring. And I see the wrestlers approaching. Actually, I'm showing the match card, Mr. Popple. So, tonight, CM Punk will go one-on-one -on -one with Jey Uso. Woo, that'll be a good match. And then in the face of YouTube qualifier, Pentagon Jr. will go one-on-one -on -one with Wardlow. Oh, that'll be a good match also, boo. And then... Hangman Adam Page will go one on one with John Moxley. Wow, I can't get it, boy. That right there, all uh, that's that's sexier than the socks on a rooster. <laughs> yep. And up next, Chris Jericho will go one on one with Orange Cassidy in the Intercontinental Championship Tournament. But first, we'll go to commercial break. Hello, friends. It's me, the Pawpaw. Uh-oh, something happened? Did we cut off? Nope, we're good. Okay, must be my big fingers. I think it is this cord I have here messing me up. Um, hopefully, I can figure out a way to get around that, folks. But anyway, uh, we have technical difficulties here at the station. Um, our... Um, our... Engineers are working on it, um, but it looks like we're we're ready to go back into the ring, uh, back to live Boog and Dad TV wrestling. The following contest is scheduled for one fall, and it is seek first, making his way down to the ring. Freshly squeezed Orange Cassidy. And Papa, what are your thoughts on Orange coming into this? Well, I have to say that he is somewhat appealing. <laughs> and his opponent making his way down to the ring, representing the Chris Jericho Appreciation Society, Chris Jericho. All right, Jericho. And Papa, what are your thoughts on Jericho coming into this? Well, I think when it comes to Jericho, I think the walls are going to come tumbling down. Ding, ding, ding. Uh, Jericho, I'm trying to get a lock up here, but Orange with the sand still in his pockets. Oh, the most devastating kicks of wrestling. Right, Papa? Uh, yes. Uh, could you hold up the match for just a second? Uh, yes, because I wanted to probably be here for a while. Okay, uh, we have technical difficulties. Oh, I just fixed it. I just fixed it. I don't need the engineer now. Thank you anyway. Um, but for whatever reason, uh, the camera angle shot was blurry. I mean, it was blurry. And just by simply tapping on the screen, it cleared right up. Yeah, oh, Jericho not having anything to do with Orange's kicks here. As he punches him right in the face, but Orange is able to kick out. The uh, bell! Oh, uh, yeah. Ding, ding, ding. <laughs> Thank you! That looks like the ring side. Shush! Thank you! Uh, I guess the ring's. Uh, the. The bell, the bellman fell asleep. Yeah. He <laughs> failed to ring the bell. Six legs. You can tell how tired we are. Oh, 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 oh. Devastating kick. What a kind of mess is this, Pillar? I mean, Orange. It is a fact of Orange. One, two. Kick out. Well, let's hope so. Oh, no. Now he's looking through the walls. Yes, the walls of Jericho. But Orange trying to get 
trying to fight, fight out of it. Oh, orange one, two, no. That was close, boob. I know. Now both of them are up again. Ah, oh, Jericho with a humongous lariat. To Mr. Orange. Now he's trying to get Orange's hands out of his pockets. Oh, no. Looks like Jericho's going in for the squeeze. Uh, now he's... Some magic, something's going on. Jericho cannot remove the hands from the pockets. Oh! Hey, Orange! What was that? Stupid Orange Punch! I think he just got freshly squeezed. One, two, three! Absolutely! Here's your winner, Orange! Jericho, you've just been freshly squeezed, pal. Oh, what's this? Look at that, coming in from behind. Jericho's upset because he lost the match. Look at him. He's trying to take it out on Orange Cassidy by coming up behind him and hitting him with a low blow and then spinning him around and kicking him in his face and, and oh. so on and so forth. And, Oh my God, will, will, will Cassidy Dude, ever be able to recover from this? It looks like, it looks like Cassidy has won the battle, but lost the war. Oh, oh, oh no. Orange. What kind of maneuvers he got him in? It almost what looks like the heart foundations. Oh, it is the walls. He's got him in the walls. He cannot get out. Look, he's tapping, he's tapping. Ding, 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 They're ringing the bell. No, and he, no. won't, hey, he won't quit. Oh, he's going to break orange in half. He'll be slices. Yeah. Oh, he broke the hole. Ding, 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 ding. Come on. Get him out there. Get him away from him. Somebody come in. We may need some help from the back. Next week, I'm going to get my orange juice for free. Oh. Wow. Did you hear that? Well, that's there not going to be good. Who's the winner but loser? Well, Cassidy but is in the ring. He looks he looks hurt. He looks like he's the one who, had, who lost the match. Are we going to have to call the stretcher or the wrecker or somebody to come and get him out of the ring? Well, we'll give you, uh, we'll give, we'll, uh, give you a report after this commercial break. Okay, Boog. Back to the pop ball. Well, hello, friend. I do call you friend. Today, I sure do hope that uh, Orange is going to be okay. But in the meantime, let me just say that uh, we here at uh, Bubba's Used Cars would just like to say that there's a car here today that's just right for you. We promise you, if you come down to our lot and look and see what we got, that you will not walk away. You will drive something out of here today, no matter what your credit is, your credit score is, no matter what your wife looks like, your mother-in-law, or anybody in between. We don't care if you bring your dog and your cat. Somebody's going to ride home tonight. So if you'd like a good used car at low, low prices, just give us a call, BR549. We'll pick it up and say, hello, would you like to buy a car today? All right, boo. Live wrestling, back to you. The following contest is a face of YouTube qualifier match. Introducing first, making his way down to the ring, Pentagon Jr. And Papa, oh, what? look at Pentagon Jr. And Papa uh, has never actually heard his uh, name b before before the before he read the match card tonight. Uh, you know, I've been seeing this wrestler wrestle, but I, I just, for somehow or another, was thinking that he was called something other than Pentagon Jr. And your opponent, making his way down to the ring, Wardlow. Boy, that Wardlow, boy, he is something else. Just look at the size of that guy. And actually, he uh, last uh, his last appearance, he's injured the the Greg the Hammer Valentine. Wow, that is right, Boo. I'm glad you reminded me of that. Oh, excuse me. The Papa is a little bit on the tired side. 
You see, uh, the Boog and I, we had went to a fireworks show tonight. See? And we stayed up a long, long time. Uh, now, Pentagon telling Wardlow that he does not fear him. Oh, oh, ding, 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 what ding, about ding. that? Look out, Pentagon! Oh, Wardlow. Wardlow's stomping him. He's stomping him. Boo got said he's stomping oh. him. And Lord, somehow that he got pitched down the ring. Oh. There he is. He's face down. Wardlow has jumped out. Oh, oh that had to hurt. I know. Even Popo felt that one. My whole family felt. It. Oh, I'm pretty sure I didn't feel it, Papa. Oh, I don't see how you couldn't. Yeah, no, He's Ward right there with you. I know, this is the move Wardlow used to injure the hammer. Yes. Oh, the Pentagon fighting back. Yes, oh, he slipped down Super the Super kick. Oh. Whoa, throwing Wardlow right into the hardest part of the ring. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine. Oh, Wardlow. He just barely got in before the count of ten. Just remember, folks, this is being brought to you by Bubba's Used Car. Oh. We are 549. Oh. Smashing his head against the mat. This is just pure pandemonium here. What's that? Uh, yes, yes, yes. Oh. We're in the middle of a wrestling match over here. I, I, no, I, Geraldine, sit down oh. and just behave oh. until we oh. get this match over with. So oh. I have to tell Geraldine to know her role. Oh, now, what a leery about Wardlow. And now, Wardlow is calling, is calling the match here. What? He's calling. Can he do that? He's calling the match to be over. Oh! oh did you see that? Oh! High atop the ring ropes. Oh! Papa whispering, whistling for some reason. Sorry, I'm talking to my engineer. Uh, engineer of T, apparently. Oh! Protection crew. Oh! That's right. My, my, my engineer is checking out the trouble with this here wire to this here wrestling match. But go ahead, Boo, don't let that disturb you none. Thank you there, engineer. So now, Wardlow has got Pentagon. He's been destroyed by those power bombs. Oh my goodness, it's up on the top oh, right row. A power bomb off the top, off the second rope, actually. Yo, let's be quiet, be technical. One. He's got him. Oh, my Lord, did you see how he put his foot on his chest? That is total disrespect for Pentagon Jr. Here's your winner, Wardlow. Oh, I tell you, Wardlow, he is going to the top. Oh, no. No. I said no. it again. Oh, my goodness. Oh. I ain't seen so much rage in Wardlow since he wrestled MFJ. MJF. Thank you. That's what I said. Oh. Pay attention. Wardlow. Oh, no. No. No, no, no. No. Oh, that is over. It is over and out. Now that security finally stepping in. Pentagon. My invisible security crew. Is taking Wardlow out of here. Their Pentagon is uh, hey, Wardlow. Don't he get fined for something like that? Uh, maybe. We're kind of trying to figure out what's well, how we're going to find him for all these injuries that we're having to go with right now. You ain't going to have much of a wrestling organization if something don't get stopped here. Yes, we have, we have to We have to figure out how to stop Wardlow, right, Papa? Well, just think about it like this. Look at the people that's down. You got Greg the Hammer Valentine down. You got Cody Rhodes down. Who else has fallen? Well, wait a minute. Cody didn't fall to Wardlow, did he? No. And, but the hammer did. Yeah. And, so and, who beside the hammer? Yeah, well, it looks like right now Pentagon has joined that list. Plus Pentagon. I just sat down with Wardlow and tell him that. Strike one, hammer. Strike two, Pentagon. If there's a strike three, he's out of here and suspended for 30 days. 
The way Wardlow's got a microphone. Popple, I'll tell you who strike three is. You! Oh boy, oh, I'm no. ready for you, Bubba. You <laughs> mean uh, Wardlow? I said I'm ready for you, Wardlow. Anytime, any place. Well, you name it. Well, next week, I guess Papa will be going on one on one with Wardlow next week. You'll get him, Papa. You know you'll get him. Thank you, there, Geraldine. I appreciate that. Well, I guess we'll go back to return to commercial as we prepare for the next match. All right, here we go. Well, hello again, friends. Uh, this time the uh, show is being brought to you by Bubba's uh, Pest Control. Bubba Pest Control is one of them their agencies that will take care of your pest problem, no matter what it might be. Well, just the other day, we over here at Bubba's went over to a woman's house. She said, I got pest. And I said, yes, ma'am, we can fix you right up. So Bubba pulled up there in his pickup truck, had the sprayers and everything in it. He said, point me in the right direction. She took me in there and showed me her grandson. I said, well, what do I do with this? That's my pest to get rid of him. Well, I said, ma'am, we're here to get the four-legged crap uh, pest, uh, not the two-legged. And you know what she did? She told her, or her grandson down on all fours, told him to start crawling. Yeah. She said, there's my pest right here, and I want him sprayed. I said, well, ma'am, I'm not really um, capable of doing that, so I'll bid you a good day. And we left and got the heck out of there. But in all sincerity, folks, if you've got the real pest, the real four-legged four pine with a little antenna and stuff running around your house, Staring just give kitchen. old... Bubba a call. Old Bubba will pick up the phone at BR549. Just let him know that you want pest control and not automobiles. Thank you. And here, I'm seeing that we're getting back to the ring live. More wrestling here on Moog and Dad TV. The following contest. That there good. Bubba, he is such an uh, entrepreneur. The following contest Bubba. is for. Do you know he's such an entrepreneur uh, that no, he's I, got several businesses? No idea. Back to you, Boog. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. That bubble Who is sick first? Making his way down to the ring. John Moxley. Moxley, what are you doing in there, buddy? It looks like he's going to be fighting. Oh, one of my favorites. Nothing personal, Mox, old buddy, old pal of mine. Yeah. And his opponent making his way down to the ring. Hangman Adam Page. Alright. <laughs> 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 Okay, there was the cowboy Adam Hangman Page with oh, his dump the lumps. Oh, now he's gonna put the dump the lumps on Moxley. Look, there's one dump. There's another dump. Another dump. The lump. 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 Oh, big elbow <laughs> to the face of the big clothesline. Oh my God! Look what he's done to Moxley's face. Oh, never mind. He looks like that always. <laughs> oh. Love you, Moxie. <laughs> anyway, we might, we might have to mute Puffles' mic in a few minutes. I don't know what I don't, I don't know what he's on back there, but <laughs> well, the engineer gave me some tea. Oh, oh. yeah, it looks like it's gonna be a uh, uh, Georgia hard cider. Looks like. Oh, now Moxley. Looking, uh, his feet's tied up in the ropes. He's looking for the paradigm shift. Now dry. Oh, and a big boot. Straight to Moxley. Now, back to live wrestling. Oh! Oh, he never left. Oh, he launched straight back. It's a hangman. One, two. No way. Oh. No way you're going to get a hangman that quick. Moxley, you better bring your, better bring your lunch because it's going to be all day job. 
always put up a good fight. Put up a good oh, fight. Oh, oh, oh. oh telling oh, you. Oh, oh, oh. Woo. Oh. That's right. Well, no. if that don't make your grits boil, oh. I don't know what will. Oh. Oh. Ooh, oh. Lord. Oh. Looks like the hangman is flat on his back. And now that all those are and back to the just head. will not stop. Oh, no leg in those elbows. Oh, Moxie is known for that. Yeah, now Moxley going to the top. What's he looking for here? Elbow job! One, two, no! How did Hangman her. get out of that? I didn't think the Hangman would be able to move after that barrage of hits from Moxley. Down now, Moxley looking for a paradigm shift. It's been all Moxley. And he gets it. It's been all Moxley for the last five minutes. Come on, Hangman. One, two, no, Hangman makes it. Get your out. cowboy butt up. Here comes Moxley! Oh, Finally, he got the lariat. And now he's got Moxley Dead Eye! Dead Eye to Moxley! The Hangman's too exhausted to capitalize! Oh okay. no! Hangman able to put his boot on top of Moxley. One, two, wait, no. Moxley's. His arm is under the rope. Oh, now Hangman. No! Moxley able to kick out somehow. Wow. This is unbelievable. Oh, now, Hangman looking to finish this once and for all. What do you think? That's about as obvious as a dead mule in a car Black truck. Black shot lariat! To Moxley! That's got to have him. That's One, got to have him. Two, no! Moxley kicks Moxley out! Gets a, well, what is Moxley made out of? Moxley's got an energy boost here. Oh, here they go. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, no. These two getting in each other's face right here, right now. Oh, 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 Double hit buds. Oh, 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 oh. Hangman is down. You got to hang him down, Moxley, boy. He is, oh. he is full of uh, oh. hard liquor and oh. vinegar. Oh, Hangman looking for Buckshot Larry. Oh, right what? Did he line. get it? Did he get him? No, Moxley. They're Jones. both down. They're both down. One, two, three, four. Oh, the, the fan farted again. Five, I can't believe it. six. Oh, it brought seven, Moxie to life. Eight, nine, ten. Ding, Double ding, count ding, ding, out. Ding. And they're still going at it. Oh, get security down here. We're going to have to, they're going to fight all the way back to the locker room, right through the crowd. Well, they think these two know that the match is over. Ding, 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 ding. Oh. Ding, 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 oh, ding. Maybe I was wrong. They certainly are still fighting each other. Oh, no. They start rolling on the floor and fighting each other. Oh! We're gonna have to call the entire locker room out to stop oh. these two. Go oh, now, hang around. Back shot, lariat onto the floor. Moxley is finally down. But to no avail. You do not have a clear winner here. And now, hang me. When will these two have to meet again? Get your fat batons back over here, you son of a... Oh, no! Uh, I hope the editor got in on that. Oh, no! Oh, no! Now these two fighting again! What just happened? Popo is... can't believe what he just heard. Right, Popo? Uh, uh, Popo's even speechless. Oh, this is That's time I am speechless. Oh, Oh, these two fighting it out. Oh, no. Oh, Hangman's in trouble. Moxie. Oh, no. 
Oh, they're going the way down. Uh, looks like Papa found the connection to his cord over there. I did. Uh, well, I guess that's the end of that. Yes. As a matter of fact, Mossy is going away. <laughs> well, I guess now we're good commercial break as we so we could go make sure those two are okay. I guess so. Wow. Have you ever seen wrestling like this? This is one of a kind of anywhere I've ever been. Never been so ex much excitement. And with all these characters, I mean, they are just really out of this world. Now then, I'd like to bring you to the next commercial. Here we go. Thank you, folks. I am so glad to be back with you. This here is... Um, a commercial for Bubba's uh, Bubba Bargain Barn and Diamond Emporium. Yes, if you'll come on down here to Bubba's Bargain Barn and Diamond Emporium, we'll fix you up with your next red and wing. All you got to do is just bring your fiance down here to Bubba's and bring her on in here. And while she and you are looking at some of the finest uh, deals in swine and swine apparel, you can Fake her out by thinking you're going to buy her pig and wind up coming in here and getting her an engagement ring. Because right here at, Bargain, at Bubba's Bargain Barn and Diamond Imperium, we can fix you right up. You can dine and swine and get your engagement ring right here at Bubba's. So just call us at BR549 and we'll fix you up with a car, a pest control, or... Bubba's Bargain Barn and Diamond Emporium. Y'all come see us now, you hear? Back to you, Boog, with live wrestling. That Bubba, he's quite an uh, entree pour newer, ain't he? He's got a little bit of everything out there. Yeah, why are there so many Bubba commercials lately? Because he's sponsoring the Boog and Dad TV Championship Wrestling. The following contest is your Boog and Dad TV Wrestling Man event. Introducing first, making his way down to the ring, representing the bloodline, Jay Uso. Oos. Oh. We're number two, so you can be number one. Well, I think CM Punk tonight is looking to prove why he is actually number one. Oh, the punkster's coming in. And his opponent. Bring his way down to the ring. C M Punk. And Papa, what are your thoughts on Punk coming into this? Well, I'll tell you what's the truth. Out of these two wrestlers, I have the most utmost respect. However, I don't think Jay Uso has got a snowball's chance in beep of ever taking C M Punk. Ding, ding, ding. And that beep was for H double hockey sticks. Thank you very much. And now Uso telling him that he's the one here. Oh. Well, oh. I didn't see that one coming. Oh. We're going. Got no punk guillotine. Right off the bat. See, looks like that Roman Reigns is finishing move on Jay Uso. This, this I can't so, believe it. This is so embarrassing. To lose to Sorry, your there was a kitty under my foot. I moved the camera roll. Who it, let that cat in the arena? See, a bug is choking out Jey Uso at this very moment. Oh, is it? Is he going to have a submission move this quick? Oh, Uso. Oh. Oh, he spelled out the ring. Oh, Uso tapping out, of course, now. Once what? They're, once they're outside of the ring, so it doesn't count. Oh, no. Well, can the referee do anything about it? Uh, no. Basic, basically, the tap out does not count unless it's inside the ring. Well, there is one thing. The ring, the, the, the match is not officially uh, started. Oh. Well, uh, I don't think... Okay. Remember? Ding, ding, ding. There you there go. We go. Now we got it going. Okay. I, I tell you what. I can't use those fireworks no more. You can't remember the ding ding no more. Yeah. <laughs> you lost your ding ding. Where's your ding ding go? No idea. Anyway. What? Punk, punk, punk 
<laughs> you lost your ding ding? And that was where's like, the red where's the ding ding ringer at? I think dad stole it. Lord. Whoa, whoa, whoa. And now CM Punk looking for the go to sleep onto if so. Oh super kick! Super kick by Uso! To the top! No! He missed! Oh I'm a chop! Oh punk! Oh no! Punk on the attack of Uso Power Slam! CM Punk, he's our man! He's not gonna shake no Uso hand! CM Punk, he's our man! Now he's going to throw Jay Uso in the stands. Oh! oh I told you. Now, now, now Uso's going crowd surfing now. Oh, oh no. my goodness. You're taking him all the way to the stairs. Oh! Bring him back. He just with the, with, the, with the handle. He's uh, got to bring him back. We've got to have more action in the ring. Oh. No, I think Punk just gave himself an accidental uh, assist there. Oh! Face first goes Uso off the apron. Oh, and now Punk. Oh, with those elbows to the back of the head of Uso. Yes. What? Oh, ah. What? CM Punk is mocking Uso. Spear by Punk. Oh my goodness, what was that? Like a spear off the top ring rope. And the guillotine. Locked Once again, in. goes to his finishing move. Hey, he's tapping, he's tapping, he's tapping. He's tapping. Here's your winner, CM Punk. Okay, um, Punkster, let him go. He's tapped out. And CM Punk has defeated two members of the Bloodline two weeks in a row. All right. Congratulations, CM, on a victory again. Wait a minute. Now making his way down is Paul Heyman. What is he doing here? Ladies oh, and gentlemen, my name is Paul, Paul Heyman, and tonight I am here to announce to CM Puke that on behalf of the Tribal Chief Roman Reigns' special counsel, he is to, he is, uh, and he has told me to inform you that you have not done enough to get him a rematch. You have not done enough to get a rematch against the Tribal Chief at whatever the next pay-per-view is called because the Tribal Chief doesn't care what the next pay-per-view is called because he is going to beat whoever is going to challenge him. So, so what does that mean? So, what I'm here to tell you is that if you want another shot at my tribal chief then next week you will go one on one with the final member of the bloodline you have to defeat other than the tribal chief himself the rock and then the week after that you will be in a three on one handicap match against Yokozuna Jey Uso and the rock but that's just if you somehow get past the rock before then. Do you accept, punk, sir? I accept you to challenge. And I'm telling you right now that you might not be able to see any of them again. What well, words of CM Punk? Right, Popo? I tell you what. I am absolutely amazed at all this.
Well, I, I think that's the end of this episode. Make sure to subscribe to Biggie Dare TV for some more awesome wrestling fun. Bye. And the Pawpaw says, you can't see me. Literally, you can't see me. Um, and don't forget, this uh, Book and Dad TV Wrestling brought to you by Bubba's. And we'll see you next week. <laughs>